She's known for her bloody depictions of female rage, and she was one of the most accomplished artists of the period we now call the Italian Baroque. I'm talking, of course, about Artemisia Gentileschi, the most famous female artist of the 17th century. And before this year, this masterpiece of hers had never been exhibited to the public. This painting depicts the climax of a particularly violent story. Around 510 BCE, Rome is ruled by a tyrannical king. The king's son, who is an entitled and violent man, becomes obsessed with a beautiful and virtuous woman named Lucretia and tries to seduce her. And when she refuses his advances, he rapes her. After this assault, Lucretia commits suicide and her death inspires the Romans to overthrow their dictator. This particular painting is just one of many versions of Lucretia that Artemisia painted over her long career, including one that resembles a self-portrait. It's clear that this story resonated with Artemisia. She herself was a victim of rape when she was just 18 years old. Due to surviving court records, we know that she was assaulted by a man named Agostino Tassi in 1611 in her father's house. Artemisia's father, Orazio Gentileschi, was also a painter. This is one of his works behind me. And it was Orazio, not Artemisia, who took Agostino Tassi to court over the deflowering of his daughter after he refused to marry her. The court case was gruelling, and Artemisia was scrutinised and slandered with questions about her virtue. Tassi was convicted, however, and sentenced to exile, but due to his friends in high places, he skirted this punishment entirely. It seems not much has changed today. Artemisia's story has been dominated by this trial, especially since the rise of feminist art history in the 1970s. In the wake of the Me Too era, she's become an icon of women's rage at the injustice of sexual violence. And her famous scene of Judith slaying Holofernes has often been interpreted as a depiction of female revenge. But not everyone agrees with this reading of Artemisia's work though. Some scholars think that the notoriety of her assault has clouded respect for her work outside of her trauma, while others have even argued that her talents have been overestimated due to the spotlight on her biography. We can't know for sure just how much of herself and her experience Artemisia put into her works. It's actually a very modern concept that artworks should reflect the inner workings of the artist's mind and soul. In Artemisia's time, this wasn't really how people thought art worked. Looking at this painting today, though, I still think we can see something of Artemisia. This Lucretia may be naked, but she's not a nude. She is exposed in a moment of resolution, not unveiled for the pleasure of the viewer. And more than that, there's a realism to her body that is rare in paintings of her era. The kind of intimacy with a woman's body that only a woman knows.